This is Josiah Plays Tyranny. All right, we're here in the throne room. The Hall of Regents at Sentinel Stand. We have just slain the final regent. But it did not end the Edict of Storms because there is one more in the bloodline. His baby, his child, who we heard crying in the next room. What are we going to have to do about this? Are we going to have to kill a baby to save this land from the Edict of Storms? I don't know. This is a question that can only be answered after we loot some shit. So we're going to loot some shit. I'm not thrilled about this loot. What do we have here? Oh, it's a shield. Hold on. That's a... Uh... A pretty nice shield. Faithful Promise. This shield was carried across three generations of stalwart regents and was primarily associated with their war finery. Faithful Promise commemorates the vow made by Regent Hardrone to never allow stalwart to fall into enemy hands. Plus 19 parry I don't care about because I always use dodge instead of parry. Plus 15 endurance is nice. It slows me down a little bit, and I would lose the health regen while has wounds. I don't think she's going to use it. I think she's sticking with Tireless Protector. I think Faithful Promise is about to be 40 bronze rings in our pocket. Okay. In front of Amelia. Amelia's baby is the last surviving region in the key to Kairos' ongoing edict. Speak with Amelia and see what can be done. What can be done about Amelia's baby? Hey, hold a moment. See like that? Found some hidden shit here. Research drug recipe. This partial recipe describes the process for creating a powerful drug, but more research is needed to fill in the recipe's gaps. This research can be made with a spire library upgrade and the proper materials. I do have a library. We've got ourselves a couple of sigils. I can research this in the library now. The scroll contains a magical accent which adds an interrupt effect to a spell. This scroll contains a magical accent which increases the number of projectiles fired from a directed force spell. Now that sounds intriguing. A directed force spell. Do I have any directed force spells? Directed Force. Directed Force is a line spell. So it would affect, say... It would affect... Say, Ball Lightning. Maybe not. Icicle Storm. Handled Strength. I don't understand. I don't understand what spells I can make. Oh, see, now this says Distant Impact, so that's different. Distant Impact would be like... Would be like this, Healing Wisps. Oh, I could make more projectiles on the Healing Wisps. Or, what else do I do that's Distant Impact? Distant impact. Multiple projectiles of taunt doesn't make any sense.
focused intent. Electric jolt is distant impact. Fireball. Fireball is distant impact. Saito! Good to see you again. How's it going, Saito? What's going on? So let's see. What are the spells that can, that can be used on? Distant impact. Atrophy. Fire. Obviously fireball. You have a fireball that shoots two fireballs instead of one. Which is pretty cool. Lightning. It'd make a multi-electric jolt. Which does that which does sound really good. Frost. Oh, a multi-rhyme spike. Oh no, it's not available for Rhyme Spike for some reason. It's not available for False Pit. But it is available for Healing Wisps. Extra Healing Wisps shooting out. Sigil of Force. It's available for Concussive Bolt. All right, so let's see here. Let's say I wanted to put that. Let's say I wanted to put that on my healing wisps. Now I'm at 165. I need to lower this down in some way. Guess I don't need an AoE on the Healing Wisps. Got the strength. It shoots four projectiles now. I'm not going to put it on the Fireball because then I'd have to get rid of my Frost Fire, which I don't want to. I can't put it on the Rhyme Spike. Uh, the lightning one, that's the... Oh, she could put it on her healing wisps. But then her healing wisps would be... Too strong. So... We could put it on electric jolt if I'm willing to remove... I'd have to remove a lot of stuff though. I don't think I'm going to. I don't think I'm going to right now. You hadn't slept in two days prior to last night? Wow, good times, fun. Yay, it sounds like you were just partying hard. Science party. Rewatch that cow video a few times, I can't. I want I watched it once and I was deeply disturbed and I I can't get the images out of my head. I don't know if I will ever sleep soundly again after watching that crazy cow video. Hey Quebec, welcome back. Once again the all female party. Yeah. That's how we're rolling. So I just got a cool sigil, but I can't really use it on my stuff at the moment because we're too we're too weak I mean I did put it on the healing wisps 125 130 can I beef this up with anything marking bleeding volleys Double taunt for some reason. Make it an AoE. 
increase the range. Make it more accurate. Let's make it more accurate. What new pyramid had had base powers have you acquired? Now, man, I have so many powers. I have so many spells. It's freaking ridiculous. How many... Look at how many of these types of things I have. Different ways that I can make them uniquely different. Plus those, plus that, plus that, plus both of those. I don't... And I've got that, and those, and those, and those. And all of these. And all of these. I mean, I can make hundreds of different spells now but uh, I don't really feel like making any new spells at the moment I'm pretty happy with what we've got except for Serafina she's got these two that she literally never uses I was thinking about replacing one of them with something more useful but I don't know I guess I really don't need to at the moment Pyramid head based powers. <laughs> like Quen. No, not like Quen. Nothing is like Quen. There is no Quen. Quen does not exist. Alright, we're gonna have to kill a baby in a second, so that's the exciting part. We've reached the point in the story where apparently we have to kill a baby. Alright. A region has always ruled from this throne in Stalwart for the last 500 years. An unbroken bloodline that has survived through numerous generations. And now we gotta kill a baby. Baby murder. Here's Amelia, the mother of the baby. Blocking this doorway, Amelia regards you with eyes that brim with tears, yet blaze with hints of her father's grim resolve. She has armored herself in disfavored raiment to face you down. Hey, scum save. How you doing? Good to see ya. Stay away from my daughter. You will not have her. How is this possible? In before verse, yep. <laughs> I knew she was going to lip off in this particular manner right here. Do you need me to draw it out for you? Because there are a few ways it can happen, and people get confused about these things. First, verse lifts her leg above her head, but you cut her off with a gesture. <laughs> Fucking verse. My, my union with Stratus the Younger. Even in remembrance, Amelia doesn't shed her warlock resolve. Warlock? Her warlike resolve. She has warlike resolve. He showed me kindness behind these walls and taught me about Stalwart and the Tears, the culture and heritage that made these people the pride of the realm. He died in the third year of the conquest. A disfavored spear pinned him to the ground he fought to defend, and he never rose again. Your daughter is the regent heir. Now that you've killed straight as Herod, and he, she is. Amelia draws herself up and glares at you. She has nothing to do with Kairos or the Edict. You have no right to judge her on the basis of blood. Okay, slow your roll, Amelia. It's not about judging her. And yes, she has everything to do with the Edict. The Edict won't end until she dies. That's not her fault. But you shouldn't have had that baby, given the fact that, you know, you're prolonging... You've turned an entire country into a post-apocalyptic hellscape that will never end until this bloodline ends. That's nobody's fault, but still, your baby gotta die. Your baby gotta die. I'm sorry. Did you know this would prolong the edict? We suspected that the bloodline would implicate my baby in Kairos' eyes, but I knew nothing for certain until this moment. She shakes her head. Don't ask me to interpret the Overlord's heartless design. I have no love for this edict, if that's what you're asking. 
It's torn a noble realm to pieces, fractured the pillar of their culture, and ruined countless lives. She releases a heavy sigh and hardens her intense gaze. But I have a responsibility to the people of Stourt to preserve their heritage and leadership. My father and the other Archons destroyed this nation. She and I... Amelia glances back at the crib, then quickly focuses back on you. We can help put it together. Uh-huh. Alright, your baby isn't gonna help put together any nations. She's a fucking baby. It's gonna be years and years before she's remotely useful in any way whatsoever. You'll do no such thing. The regents had their chance, and look what they did to us. Mattias shakes with rage and turns to you. We cannot possibly allow this, can we? The regent remained in Sentinel Stand for her protection. The edict was his responsibility to shoulder, not hers. She tips her head down in challenge. Well, that's what I'm hoping, Saito, is that I can get them to, like, renounce the baby's claim, and thus the baby won't actually be the future regent, and thus the last regent will be dead, and thus the edict will end. I'm hoping I can do something like that, but we'll see. My daughter will not be another victim of Kairos' conquest. She has the blood of the North coursing through her veins, and no one has the right to take her life. And what's interesting about this is, this is Graven Ash's daughter right here. So that's what she means by the blood of the North. So this is the, the, the daughter of a... Of a... Of the last... Of the regent, the ruler of Stourt, and the daughter of Graven Ash, the head of the disfavored from the North. So it's kind of a... Well, it's kind of an important baby politically, even if you didn't take the uh, edict into account. I'll bet Graven Ash will be mad if we kill his granddaughter. No one has the right to take your life. Um... Calm yourself, Amelia. There must be another way. I don't think Ash knows about this. I don't think he even knew his daughter was still alive. Because she's been missing since the war. This is an outrage! Mattias turns his fuming anger to you. I refuse to allow a child to unravel this nation and be allowed to live. How could I force my men to accept that answer? No, if you spare the child, the regent, then the unbroken will withdraw their support from your campaign. Our nation's future has rested in this moment, and you propose doing nothing. Here's the deal, Mattias. You better calm your shit. Because I need the Unbroken. I don't necessarily need you in charge of the Unbroken. You could accidentally die right here, and everybody would think it had happened during the battle. And I go to the Undead Unbroken, I'm like, yeah, Mattias got killed in the battle. He, he said he wanted me to run shit with the Unbroken from now on, so let's go. <laughs> I mean, you should calm your shit, Mattias. Kill the disfavored girl and her region heir, or we're done for good. This shouldn't be a difficult matter for you to weigh, Fatebinder. Not if you're committed to our side. I'm not committed to your side. I just want to use you on my side. Letting her live won't be merciful or kind. She'll become an adult and wither under the burden that her existence fuels the torment of an entire realm. You can always make more babies. I'll even give lessons. Thanks, Ab. Can you just put the baby in your inventory like Pillars of Exile? Pillars of Exile? Pillars of Eternity? What is your answer, Fatebinder? Oh good, Lore 71 will get this done. As Regent Mother, you have the authority to abdicate the line. You must merely say the words. Hope reflects in her expression for the first time. Is it truly as simple as that? A clerical formality to spare an innocent life? She huffs as much in surprise as derision. We just received a rust charm. Maybe that's actually the baby. If this works, I'll owe you more than I can possibly repay. Here, the edict damaged this trinket, but you might still find it useful. I... Amelia, formally abdicate my daughter's claim to the Regency of Stalwart, dissolving all ties, compacts, vassals, and holdings. 
We forfeit all protections and advantages given by the ancient bloodline. He pauses. Was that enough? Yeah, Joan was the blood the blood mage guy in Dragon Age, yeah. We just got an achievement unlocked, lawyered, and has a picture of a frowning baby face. <laughs> How would I know if that's enough? I guess we wait and see if the storms abate. We give it, what, an hour? Two hours? Eb pauses, pursing her lips in frustration. No, really. If nothing immediately happens, how long do we wait before declaring failure and switch to the baby-killing plan? <laughs> switch to the baby-killing plan, she said. You feel a familiar sensation. The air growing hot and electric before suddenly erupting in overwhelming waves of energy. I think that's the end of the edict. At first, you think the force of arcane power dissipating is enough to carve the skin from your bones, a sensation you attribute to the edict of storms, but it cools just as quickly. Oh, we're back in- we're, this has happened before. Dude, I just end edicts like a motherfucker. I get up in the morning, end a couple edicts, have some breakfast. The winds buffeting the keep have abated. Outside, an eerie silence pervades the air, a stillness that hasn't visited Stalwart for a long time. Gain favor with disfavored. The Bladegrave region is now controlled by Serafina. That's what I like to hear. You can hear the very symbols that brought the Edict of Storm into being, each syllable proclaiming itself from a newfound corner of your mind. It would seem the Edict is now a part of you. What does that mean? Thank goodness it worked! You spared my daughter, and here I had come to expect nothing but cruelty from the servants of Kairos. Amelia looks to the crib. Now we have a chance at what might have never been. Might never have been a life outside of these walls. I don't know what will become of us. The Unbroken would despise me for supporting the Regent. The Disfavored would not have me after turning my back on the North. I don't regret my choices for an instant, but they leave me without allies or kin. My father. I can't say what he would think, but he's a rigid, uncompromising man. Yeah, but we know that Graven Ash really loves his family. I think she'd be fine to go back to her father, but if she wants to become one of my servitors, that's perfectly acceptable. I can always use more minions. Do not consider it for a second. Mattias frowns at Amelia, struggling to find the words. You were tossed up in this war like anyone else, and circumstances are not always kind. No one but Kairos and the Regent are at fault for perpetuating the Edict of Storms, and even Stratus. Mattias sighs. Even Stratus had his reasons. Your child is blameless. Regent or no, I would... I would apologize for the severe tone I took with you earlier. And ask that you remain with the unbroken. <laughs> okay, the severe tone? Talk about fucking trying to walk it back. What you mean to say is I would apologize that not two minutes ago I was literally screaming, I demand that you kill her baby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, taking a severe tone. Wow. Talk about cleaning it up. <laughs> we're going to put some spin on it. Uh, words were said. You know, mistakes were made. I may have been a bit, a bit harsh. He was literally a second ago raving. Kill that baby! Kill that baby! You must kill her baby! And then he's like, uh, sorry. Sorry about my tone. Uh, you want to stay with us? <laughs> Fucking Matthias. Hilarious. Yeah, no one seems especially concerned by your rousing in the air like some insane person glitching in the air while trying to build a garbage tower. That was awesome when that happened. Well, it's happened before. Versus like, eh, I've seen this before. He studies him for a moment. And then the tension leaves her shoulders. The South continues to surprise me. 
I had not expected anyone to march on Sentinel Stand under a banner of mercy. He nods. We accept. Why do I suddenly gain wrath with disfavored for this? What did I do? I just gained a bunch of favor with disfavored, and now they're pissed at me for some reason. I don't... What did I do here? I didn't even do anything here! Oh, I just received Unbroken Legacy. That sounds like an artifact. Hey, Drumbo Piper, how's it going? You've demonstrated the lengths you'll go in the service of allies, and the Unbroken are fortunate to be included in crafting the tears to come. I make for Vendrians well in your coalition. We have fought to retake our country for so long. I hardly remember what it feels like to plan from a position of power. He smiles. I suppose I'll find out. Yeah, whatever. Welcome to the Minion Corps, buddy. Thanks, Drum. And he just goes running off with his big... You ended Kairos' Elite of Storms. My power is up to 1,110. Still don't know what this is for. I'm assuming it's for casting Edicts later. Making a stand updated. Return to Ascension Hall. With Sentinel Stand now under unbroken control, return to Ascension Hall to discuss your next move with Ari. Good times. Good times. We win. What did I get? I got a Rust Charm. This chunk of iron was once an impressive item, but prolonged exposure to the Edict of Storms has since worn it down to an unrecognizable nub. This is what she just gave me a second ago by way of thank you. Here, have this unrecognizable nub! I just really want to thank you for saving my baby. I found this piece of crap in a pile of trash. And I thought I'd give it to you. Thanks, Amelia. One armor penetrated by attacks when inflicting crits. That's weak sauce. There's no way I'm replacing any of my current fucking things for that. That's going to be 32 bronze rings. Hey, Anonymous is here. How's it going, Anonymous? Where's the option to kill the baby anyway? You know, for amusement. Oh yeah, killing the baby was definitely an option. Unbroken Legacy, heavy armor. This armor is a shining amalgamation of once fine pieces taken from the blade grave and restored to their former glory. Well, it's a shining amalgam of 39 bronze rings for me. Into the stash. Alright. Amelia. Can I just go in, go in there and ace a baby still? Just for the lulz? Yeah, I have a lot of money. Thank you for sparing my daughter, Fatebinder. Amelia offers you a warm smile. What can I do for you? Tell me of the final days of the Stalwart campaign. They took my unit in a night ambush, killed our lookout, and overwhelmed the rest of us before we could stage an organized counterattack. When they took me prisoner, I was the picture of disobedience the entire time, and paid back much of the northern blood they had spilled. They locked me up behind the walls of Sentinel Stand in isolation, I gave them no lack of trouble, so they left me to my cell. Stratus the Younger, the Regent's son, he visited almost every day to check in and make sure my every need was seen to. Bow -chick bow wow. And that's how we got a baby out of it. Her brow furrows. In the Legion, they teach you what to expect of the South. Barbarians, savages, rapists. I hadn't expected to find civility. You were lucky. Some of us actually come from the Tears, and have been around long enough to know better. I continued to debate and banter with Stratus the Younger. We hated the North, and I the South. He hated the North, and I the South. But beyond our prejudices, we discovered more in common than we suspected. Much more. I later learned that he suffered wounds at disfavored hands and died in the field. She takes in a deep breath and shakes her head. My Stratus. That was when I knew that the Archon of War had come for me at last. Shortly after, I heard an ironclad force assemble outside of the fortress. Had I a voice in the Legion, I would have told them to pull back. I was being treated with dignity, and we suspected that Kairos's edict would come in short order. Not that any of my father's simpletons would have listened. The Regent comforted me in my isolation. We had both lost the man we loved, and in no time at all I realized that I was carrying his grandchild. He turns to you with a guarded look. You know the rest. 
Nothing for now. Farewell. Have fun staying here, doing whatever you're gonna do. This crib has been, been meticulously cleaned. While other objects in the hall have traces of dust and metallic powder on them, none of it is found here. Oh, I'm stealing your gems. Stealing your gems, stealing your gems. You keep what in a container with you can eat items? The baby? Sounds legit. Alright, so now the stupid blowing dust wind storm should be abated, huh? Maybe everything's been turned back into a sparkling green paradise out here now. Instead of a post-apocalyptic hellscape. Doubt it. Oh yeah, you're a weirdo, yeah. I mean, do you do that in real life? Are you just a straight-up hoarder? Do you keep every single unique object you ever find or obtain in any way in real life and just keep them forever, including trash and, and containers of garbage and, <laughs> like, this particular pizza box is unique. I can't get rid of this. I've got to keep it forever because it's part of my collection. Ah, uh, Janos. It's good to see these old stones again. We're already bringing the place back to its former glory. Oh yeah, the place is looking good. Really. It's, it's beautiful. Mattius should be on his way to Ascension Hall. I'll hang back and oversee the restoration of Sentinel Stand. Yeah, the place, the place looks beautiful. All right. Well, at least we don't have the blowing death wind anymore. Or thought I'd see myself saluting a fate finder. Camping supplies. Lol. So I have Armager. Armager. High time we push back against Kairos. Apparently I'm going the wrong way. You're a hoarder in real life, Drum? This is Stalworth's chance to rebuild! Yay! Good good for Stalworth. You have tons of old shit you can't purge. I tend to hold on to a bunch of stuff for like several years at a time and then I just get rid of tons of stuff. That's usually because I move around a lot though. Historically. And then I get rid of tons of stuff whenever I'm gonna move. I'm not really connected to anything that I own. Like, if my apartment burned down and everything I owned was just gone, I'd be like, eh, whatever. 
The only thing that I'd be inconvenienced by losing is my computer. Like, if I could take my computer and my phone, basically, and... That's it, really. I'd be good. I mean, there's some things ideally I wouldn't ideally want to lose, but if I lost them, it. I wouldn't really care. Nope. Sorry. I've pretty much I lost all my worldly possessions multiple times in my life anyway, so... I'm not that attached to anything. I did carry around a penguin. Yeah, well, I guess it'd be inconvenient to lose my wallet as well, yeah. Alright. Let's move on. Alright, so it's about time... We're done here in the Blade Grave. I got my new spire. I have three out of five spires now. I still have to take these two. I have a feeling I'm going to the Stone Sea next. I need to go back and tar talk to Ari. I need to train. I think I need to train. Let's go back to the Ocean Spire. Hearing a penguin is the mark of a true hero. That's true. I don't remember which game it was, but it was one of these isometric RPGs where you get a dead body to carry around. And I carried that dead body around with me through the entire game. I don't remember which game it was. The Grave of Cows or Stake Land, yeah. I got my Master Lore Trainer here, that's the important thing. That's really all that matters. That's why I built the- that's why I built the fucking dank herb fucking growing house here. Look, it's my apothecary. You see my apothecary? I mean apothecary, my infirmary, yay. So many lives lost in pursuit of that hunk of stone known as Sentinel Stand. We may only hope that it's clean. We'll end the conflict for a time. No. No. We're fucking in business up in here. Look at this shit. We, we are growing some stuff, man. <laughs> when I'm done being a fate binder, apparently I'm gonna be a drug dealer. Because I've got it going here. Tier 420, I know, right? Uh, where's my trainer? Here. I would like to train some more lore. And Eb would also like to. And Siren would also like to. And even Verse would like to, because I, I would keep training her in dodge, but my best dodge trainer only trains up to 75 dodge, and she's already maxed out on that. And I can't get a Master Dodge Trainer until I make the training grounds, which I can't do until I get another Spire. So, I'm just gonna train her in lore. And, just because. She can make her own spells a little more powerful, it doesn't really matter. This Spire legitimately has 420 floors, yeah. Alright, so what I need to do... What I need to do... Who has free stuff for me? Do you? Yeah, they have alchemy supplies, lesser healing potions, potion of protection, healing potion. Okay. Doesn't have anything. I don't really need to make any stuff. I can make any of this stuff, but honestly, I don't need to. I've got millions of fucking potions already. Even now that I'm playing on hard, the game is still pretty fucking easy at this point. 
My characters are just badasses. All right, Gela. Oh, I'm about to make so much money that I don't need because there's nothing to spend it on, really, because I already have so much money and I don't need anything. But hypothetically, it's a cool idea. Nobody got time for Mind Rot Venom. I sold the cheese, sold the fruit, sold the water. Oh, look how much- oh my god, I'm so rich! 18 iron rings! So rich! Alright, so let me talk to my people. How did I find all this stuff, dude? Well, it was all there. It was on the maps. You walk around the map. And you look at the places on the map, and you find things that you can loot. And then you fight the enemies that are on the map, and the enemies drop loot. And you do that for a while, and you end up with a bunch of loot in your inventory, and then you sell a bunch of loot, and then you have a bunch of money. It's, it's, you, have to, you have to be willing to play a game in a crazy way, inimical, inimical, inimical to the playstyle of the modern gamer. Really need to? Which is... You have to stop for one second and not rush through every level as fast as humanly possible, determined to ignore every single thing that is not the absolute critical path to proceed. Now, that's not the way that 98% of gamers play games these days, but if you actually, you know, search the levels thoroughly, you find tons of loot. Alright, what am I doing? Honestly, what am I doing right now? I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm trying to see what's going on in my chat. They're talking about enhanced edition, bodies and bags of holdings. You haven't finished Baldur's Gate 2 yet? What the fuck? Okay, at that point it's like, SPOILERS! I HAVEN'T SEEN CITIZEN KANE! Don't talk about c SPOILERS! I mean, you can't say SPOILERS about a game that's 20 fucking years old, almost. <laughs> Right, it might not be 20. 15. There's a grace period for spoilers. There's a grace period. Maybe it's a decade. Realistically, it should only be more like five years. Yes, spoiler alert! Don't tell me what happened at the... <laughs> okay. Alright. Don't tell me what happened at the Battle of Thermopylae. Spoiler alert. I don't want to know what happened to those 300 Spartans. Have yet to read that part of the history textbook. Alright, let me talk to my people. Let me talk to my people. Beric? My Lord Binder, what can I do for you? What's going on, Beric? You have anything new to say? Actually, you know what? I'll wait until we advance the plot again. Until we talk to Ari, then I'll talk to all my people. So what I need to do right now... Well, Deus Ex is pretty old. Never understand why ally Christians spoil their book all the time. 
I don't know what that means. Um... Oh, I know the thing I was gonna do. I finally remember what I was gonna do. I need to go back into the old walls. With... with Old Man River here. So we can Song of Ages that shit. So, first thing that needs to happen is... I need to grab Lantry. Uh, uh, one moment, my friend. I need to get rid of Ab. I need to wait for some undetermined amount of time for this to load. The incredible loading situation of having a different party member. Now I gotta go back into some old walls. Yeah, Anonymous, warrior of the Counter-Reformation! There's a bunch of sigils in these fucking old walls that are on the walls that you can't learn unless you... Here's the other runic spire that we had to we had to figure out the little pattern and light it up in something akin to a puzzle. I say something akin to a puzzle because it's not really a puzzle. It's just like related to a puzzle. It's like a it's like a puzzle's fucking weird cousin. Now I have to remember where they are, which of course I don't, so I have to run through these entire fucking levels essentially. There's one of them, I think. They're not marked on my map, but nope, they're not. That's pretty awesome. I don't even remember how many of them there are in each ruin. I think there's one of them. 61 lore. You can only do it if you have Lantry with you. Sigil of Spell Surge? What is that? It sounds awesome. But what is it? Accent that causes spells to reduce recovery for a short time after being cast. They give you like a little mini haste when you cast them? Huh. Wow, that's a big haste. But only for six seconds. Alright. Something to keep in mind, possibly to put on some spells, we'll see. Yeah, you got a good point there, Anonymous. They do kind of ruin the surprise. Like that whole book of Revelation. Like, look, I want to be surprised when the end times come. Don't spoil it all for me by telling... Fucking prophets. Always spoiling shit. When the end times come, I don't want to know what's going to happen. What did I get this time? Besides... Nothing. Oh, I might have already known this one. I think I did already know that one, because it looks very familiar. Yeah, it's Sigil of Directed Force. I've already got it. Well, that's lame. I think there's one more in here, plus two or three in the other old walls. Grim, dark, edgy fantasy. There should be one more of these fucking things. I don't know where it is.
Let's see, did I make any notes about this? Nope, I just made I'm a note motherfucker. Well, that doesn't help me at all right now. Not at all. Well, let's check out this other section. Okay, let's see. Um, there's one. Sigil of Stunning sounds good. Stun to Lightning Spells. Oh, alright. We'll have to remember to try that out on some of Eb's spells. Stunning is nice. really dark in here. Hey, have I been in this room? Pretty sure I have. Yeah, I have. This is where I fought the boss. I'll just wait till HBO makes a series of it. You know, like Game of Thrones? But for the Bible. <laughs> okay, something here. Lots of running through empty ruins. This leads to the outside. It leads to west. Where am I? I'm in the old walls. Blade grave old walls. I got Lantry with me and I'm going around looking for some of these sigils that you can only get. See, there's still some Bane in there, but I don't think they're going to pop out. And I don't know why. Same with these ones. I think that he might only be in there in case you use the wrong color on the torch key thing and the bane pop out. 
But hold on, don't I want that to happen? Because, I mean, hello, XP. There's one. There's one. Installation of Gary Oldman's house. Oh, wait a minute. How do I get this? Wait. Oh, I remember this one. I have to split the fucking party. Such a simple task. Over there, a way out has opened. Sigil of Timeless Form 3. <gasps> Ooh, even more duration. I really like that. I really like the duration one. Alright, then she's got to do this to open up this. Then she can run through here. See, I can pop it by... Honestly, Verse can handle this shit by herself. She can't be bothered. I can't be bothered with the full team right now. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Verse is a bad motherfucker. She's a bad motherfucker named Verse. She just summoned up one of her sisters. That's her new move. I keep forgetting to use it because I just got it. All of these precursor things are from aliens? Okay, now I don't know what you're talking about. Aliens? Nothing about this has suggested that it has anything to do with aliens. It's just the standard fantasy trope of there used to be a civilization from way back in the days before our recorded history that was way more powerful and cool than us. It all started with the legend of Atlantis in the real world. It's just the legend of Atlantis being told over and over and over again in every fantasy setting. Remember when there were some cool people that had badass magic you and an it. awesome society that had wonders, the life of which we've you never seen, it. and then they fell and collapsed somehow, and now they're gone, and there's, they're not, nothing about them as even remains into modern history. But somewhere out there, one could maybe Just find their legendary the right ruins, and they'd have cool shit. That's that's like what's in every game practically. Let's fight some more of these dudes. Maybe it will give Siren a chance this time. Why the fuck is Lantry level 16? We'll give Siren a chance this time. To solo some motherfuckers. Siren gives a fuck. She's gonna fuck. Oh, that's a malice. That could be bad, actually. I don't know if Do she I can really solo these. Yeah, she's gonna get wrecked. Let's get her little nightmare guy out. Oh, never mind. I think she's got it covered. <laughs> Hard mode my ass. Easy as can be. Okay. I guess she's got it covered. I'm not saying that Atlantis isn't true. It could very well be true, but it is where the idea came from. That's in all these settings of, remember when there was this ancient civilization before our written history that had all kinds of cool advancements and badass shit that they knew how to do and now we don't know how to do that shit anymore? It all started with Atlantis. Alright, 
Anyway, we killed a few extra thingies. I don't know why he's level 16 for some reason, but okay. It seems like the best thing to do if I want to let party members level up is remove them from my party. Because when they're not in my party, they gain experience like mad. I come back and get them later and they're way ahead of everyone else. Alright, I think we found all the things in these old walls. So... East, central, east, central. Well, if Atlantis was a real thing, the idea probably didn't re predate Atlantis, because Atlantis then, at that point, would have predated any of our written history. Hmm? You ever think about that? How do I... Honestly, how to get the fuck out of here? I don't remember. Oh, I can go here. I wish the old walls respawned with, with new Bane, so you could come back in here and fight as many Bane as you wanted. That'd be kind of cool. Now I gotta go see if I can use my new torch keys on the old, old walls place. The old, old walls, not to be confused with the new old walls. Also, I need to end this episode. Alright. In our next episode, we will go forth. We'll go back to the other old walls over here. And we'll try to get into those other areas we couldn't get into before. And we'll try to get those other runes that we couldn't get before. And it'll be good times. But that's going to do it for this one. So if you're watching the stream, I am not stopping. But if you're watching on YouTube, that's going to be bring us to the end of this episode. So thank you for watching. This has been Josiah Plays Tyranny. <laughs>